Peace to Nowhere Land. To Nowhere Land. Come along if you can. Hey ho, come on, let's go to Nowhere Land. With Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Great googly moogly. Nothing in the beach ball. You're not supposed to throw it high like that. <laughs> Monkey in the middle! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not supposed to throw it low like that. Well, what do you expect us to do, Beast? Throw it right to you? Hamilton! What? <sighs> oh, all right. Maggie, here, get it. Mine! 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 Beast, look what you did! I didn't do it. My horns did it. Don't be upset. We can go to the beach ball factory and get a new one. Okay, we can just go to the beach ball factory and get a new one. You should have worn your socks over those sharp horns. How come there aren't any beach balls here, Maggie? I guess they haven't made any yet today. But it won't be long now, Maggie. I can smell them cooking. Me too. It's a funny kind of smell. I wonder what beach balls are made of. Mostly nothing. That's why they're so light. Oh. Get ready. Here they come. Huh? What's going on? Something is wrong with these beach balls. Something is definitely wrong. These are just beach ball skins. There's nothing inside. Hmm. We'd better go inside and tell them that they've got a problem. Is there anybody here? I don't think so, Maggie! You don't have to yell. Oh, sorry, Hamilton. Hey, look at that! Carrot tops! Hmm. You know what this means? Beach balls are made from carrots? No, someone working here eats them. And who do we know that loves eating carrots? Nedley! Hello, Nedley! How nice to see you. I'm glad you stopped by. Did you come for a reason or just to say hi? No, we're here for a reason. Show him, Maggie. There's something missing in your beach balls. Look! I make these balls carefully and, and can say without doubt, when I mix the ingredients, I left nothing out. Exactly. You left nothing out. You left the air out of the beach ball. That's the most important part. That's right. Uh-huh. Hamilton is right. You just can't imagine the trouble I'm in. This has to be fixed. But where to begin? Let's begin at the beginning, Nedley, and go through each step. Yes, we'll help you find out what's wrong. <laughs> All the squirters are squirting from red through to green. There's nothing wrong here. It's not this machine. Ooh, a polka dot maker. The squasher is squashing the colors all flat. 
It never misses, so I know it's not that. What's the next step, Nedley? The puncher that punches all of the shapes is running like clockwork. See? No mistakes. Yep. Everything looks fine here. And here's the machine that puts them together and makes the ball strong for all kinds of weather. The pieces drop off at the end of their run. When they come out down here, the process is done. shouldn't be in there. I saw it, too. <laughs> the reason for having that carrot in place is to stop gusts of air that blow in my face. Aha! Uh -huh. I think that's the problem. Well, there's one way to find out. Now, who would have guessed that a spout which blows nothing when stuck in a ball would fill it like stuffing? Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> if you ever have a problem at the factory again, just call us. We'll help you fix it. I can't thank you enough for helping like this. Here, have a free ball. It's yours, I insist. Hey, Maggie, aren't these beach balls always free? That's not very polite. I'm sorry. Thank you, Nedley. We'll go and use this at the beach right now. Come on, let's get back to our game of monkey in the middle. See you later, alligator. In a while. In a while. Uh... Crocodile. In a while, crocodile. <laughs> 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 What a wonderful day! I know! Fun at the beach, a factory tour, and a free beach ball! Oh, it's just the best! <laughs> Hamilton, I couldn't have said it better myself! To, to the, the beach! beach. time. <laughs> now, he's cutting off the crusts. I like sandwiches without the crusts. <laughs> now he has to pack everything in the basket. The watery melon goes on the bottom. Ooh. Then the lemonade. I love lemonade. And the plates, and the glasses. <sighs> the pumpkin pie has to go on top, because it'll get smooshed if you put anything else on top of it. <sighs> All done! Mmm! The perfect picnic lunch! Hamilton, you're the best picnic lunch maker in Nowhere Land. Oh, thank you, Maggie. <laughs> How about here? It looks perfect. Here we go. Mmm, -hmm. I love sandwiches with... Huh? Did you hear something? What? Look!
take all our food. No, they're not. Oh, my. Hold these. Oh. Gotcha. <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> Stop it! Stop tickling! <laughs> ah! Stop it! <laughs> oh no! They just won't give up. What will we do? Hmm. I've got an idea. I think I'll put this delicious bread over here. Good thinking, Maggie. Mm -hmm. It'll keep them busy now, but not for long. Oh. We'll have to think of another plan. Hmm. We could move somewhere else. They just follow us. <sighs> Not if we go to the other side of the river. The ants can't follow us there. They can't swim. Good plan, Maggie. Hurry up. They're almost done. What about my plate? We'll go back later and pick it up. Would you like a sandwich, Beast? Oh, yes, please. Hmm, pickle anyone? <gasps> Green tangerines, look. <laughs> they sure are determined. Mmm, delicious. I know what we can do. Huh? See? We put a little cheese in here to catch the ants. Good idea, Beast. <gasps> Quick, here they come. Look, Beast. They're heading right towards the jar. Look, they can't get out. See, they can't climb up the sides. They don't look very happy. You're right, Maggie. <sighs> they just wanted to have a picnic like us. Hmm. Let's give them a picnic of their own. Good idea, Beast. This can be their blanket. Here we go. And these buttons can be plates. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Next, we need some tiny sandwiches. These flowers can be the glasses. <laughs> yes, they work very nicely. And instead of watery melon, they can have a grape. <laughs> oh, beast. Perfect! I think everything's ready. Hello, little ants. Hello. We're sorry we put you in the jar. So we'd like to invite you to our picnic. Oh. <laughs>
It was no trouble at all. Enjoy! Now we can have our picnic. Are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Let me see. Oh, my. Isn't it the most beautiful rubber ball you've ever seen? Mm hmm. Hamilton, I have these many coins. Is it enough to buy the ball? Hmm. You have this many coins, not these many. All right, Hamilton. Are this many coins enough to buy the ball? I think so. But here comes Maggie. She'll be able to tell you. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Hamilton. Hi, Beast. Maggie, Maggie, you have to help me. Look at this. Ooh, very nice. I have these many coins. Do I have enough to buy this ball? You have this many, not these many. Maggie, please. Do I have enough money to buy this ball? Yes. Oh, goody! Oh, great googly moogly! Will you go and buy it for me right now? Please? Please? Oh, all right. I'll go now. Be back as soon as I can. Thank you, thank you! <sighs> Will you please settle down? I wonder what's taking so long. Here she is now. Hi, Maggie. <gasps> Hi, Maggie. There it is. Thank you, Maggie. Oh, what a beautiful ball. Here, Beast, toss it to me. <gasps> Never. I beg your pardon? You might miss. If it hits the ground, it'll get dirty. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hamilton, could I borrow a chair? What for? The ball. I need a chair to set it on. Honestly, Beast, sometimes you do try my patience. Thank you, Hamilton. Ah. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of a brand new rubber ball. Hmm. There you go, Beast. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? <sighs> Maggie, do you believe this? <sighs> He certainly does love that ball. Mm. Oh, oh, a smudge. Hamilton, did you smudge my ball? I never touched it. Well then, can I borrow your handkerchief? Oh, okay. Thank you, Hamilton. Hmm. Here you go. are you going to take? I want to make sure I have a good one. Besides, I want to give one to you and Hamilton. It's time for me to go. Oh, bye, 
the way, I'm bringing the triplets tomorrow. I hope you didn't forget it's their birthday and we're having a party. Huh? I remembered. I'm baking a birthday cake and I needed hats for the little guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, Maggie. See you tomorrow. <sighs> I better get started on that birthday cake. Is there something wrong? No. Yes, I don't have birthday presents for the triplets. I forgot. Oh, don't worry about that. Let's see. I know. The hats I needed can be from both of us. Are you sure? I really should give them something on my own. I'm sure. Now, I'd better start on that birthday cake. <laughs> Come on now. We'll get you nice and clean. Then you'll open your presents. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Happy birthday! Look what the beast and I have for you. Time to go. No, wait. Not yet. I didn't give you my present. This is for all of you. This is from me. Moogly, they said my name. Maggie, Hamilton, they said my name. They sure did, Beast. That was a wonderful birthday present, Beast. I don't mind. Honest.